Well, hey there everyone. So uh, the renaissance is coming up soon in my location. So guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna do some, we're gonna do some renaissance stuff because I cannot be stopped and it is my passion. This week, what we're gonna be doing is something that's been so high on my to make list and it is a teapot holster. So uh, this is something that's <laughs> purely for fashion, not for function. Um, but basically what it is is you make like a little teapot holster or a tea tea cup holster and so you can like slide your plate in and then slide your cup in and have a little spot for your like spoon as if you were to like to have high tea at any time so that's what I'm gonna be doing and I'm so excited to be doing this but alongside that I'm also gonna be making a few other accessories so the tea cup holster is going to have loops to be put on a belt so I'm going to put a couple other accessories on this belt as well so I'm gonna make a couple of skirt hikes um, and then I'm also gonna make a little pouch to also put on the skirt just like a little simple drawstring pouch and it's gonna be real cute and then when I put it on all together with my Renaissance outfit it's perfect I'm going to be using a uh, I think it was a tablecloth that I thrifted like forever ago so i'm finally gonna be using this i figured it would be a nice little material to use just for the little things because all like all at once it's a bit of a bit of a busy material but in like little things it's perfectly fine so i did get a pattern for the teacup holster um that is from this lovely person on etsy and then for the skirt hikes and the drawstring bag I just, i'm gonna be winging it so those are gonna be made of my own pattern so the first thing I'm going to do is cut out like the billion pieces that go to this holster. There's a lot of little bits and pieces and a lot of layers that go to things. So I'm going to cut out all of those and then I'll meet you back after that. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna make the little straps that are gonna go on to the top of the bag that are going to hang from the belt. So pretty much you just make two strips and then you fold it in half and then sew it along the side and then down one side, then turn it right sides out and then you have your little uh, strap thingies. Now to start the construction of the bag, so I'm gonna take the back panel of this bag and I'm going to put a pocket on it. So for the pocket, you're gonna take your outer fabric and your lining, place them right sides together, so all the way around except for a little bit, turn it right sides out, and then you're just gonna sew that straight on to the back outer fabric of this bag. And then putting that aside, we're gonna move to the other pockets of the bag. So for the plate pocket, you're gonna take the little short piece that looks like this and it's lining and then place it right sides together and sew just along the top and then turn it over and then iron it and then top stitch that stitch right there. This will all make more sense when I show you, believe me. And then you're going to take the other outer fabric for the back piece and then you're just going to sew that straight on to the bag right here. So I'm going to meet you back after that. So before we make the two belt straps, I forgot the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to make that little strap that goes through the teacup handle to hold it in place. So it's the same process, as I said, you're gonna take the strip that you have, fold it in half, sew it down the line, and then down one end, and then turn it right sides out. Now for the little straps that go on the belt, you're just gonna take these strips, fold it in half, sew it down, and then turn it right sides out again. Thank you. 
And then since this is like a tapestry kind of fabric, I basically just sewed the ends of these exposed edges so it didn't fray more than it already would before I sewed it to the actual piece. Now again for the pocket on the back of this piece, you're just going to take your two squares of your outer fabric and your lining, place it right sides together, so all the way around except for a little gap, and then turn it right sides out and press it. This can then be sewn straight onto the back of that back outer fabric panel. Now for the plate pocket, like I said, you're just going to take your outer fabric and your lining piece, place the right sides together, and sew just along the top. Then once it's top stitched, you're going to take the other outer fabric back piece and sew it straight on to the bottom. Now for the little part where the teacup is going to be, that, li that little U part where the little cup is going to be. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to take the lining for that piece and then put the darts in. That's going to make it curve out so your cup can sit in it. And then you're going to do the same with the outer fabric and then sew it together at the top, turn it over, and then iron it and top stitch it. Then it will all get sewn straight on top of the piece with the pleat pocket on it. And then next what we're going to do is do the little strap that is going to come through the handle of the cup. So basically, again, it's super simple. You're just going to take that, take a strip, fold it right sides together, and then sew it, turn the right sides out, and then you're just going to sew it straight on to the piece. Now, the pattern calls for a snap, but I have a vendetta against snaps because they don't work for me. So I'm just going to put a little grommet and then just tie it off and that'll secure it. <laughs> And then the last thing that you're going to do for this bag is you're going to take that outer piece with the pocket on it and then lay it right sides on top of the whole thing and just sew all the way around except for a little gap to turn it right sides out. And your thing is pretty much done. And then this would not be complete without the best thing. So for Christmas, my older, oh no, my birthday. For my birthday, my older sister got me a little Etsy thing of um tags that i can put onto my clothes so it says heather sigler creations i think and it has like little mushrooms on it so that is going to be sewn onto this bag because it's darn cute and i love it so much so with that this bag will be done and we can move on to the next thing now for the teacup part what you're going to do is you're going to take these two u pieces and sew on the darts where it is instructed to Then you're going to take the lining and the outer fabric, place the right sides together and sew it just along the top, then it turn it right sides out and then top stitch it. Before we sew the cup pocket on, we're going to sew on the little strap. So you're just going to sew it down and then you're going to sew it up and top stitch it so that it hides that exposed edge. Now it can be sewn just straight onto that piece where we sewed the plate pocket.
Now we're going to sew on the little accessories. So we're going to sew on the straps that are going to be held on the belt. And then we're also going to sew on a little piece of elastic and that's going to hold our spoon. And for the finishing touch of this piece, I am going to put on my little tag that my lovely older sister brought me for my birthday. Then the last thing that needs to happen is you're going to take that back panel with the pocket and you're just going to place the rices together on top of that whole mess. So all the way around it except for a little gap at the top where you're going to turn it right sides out and then your bag will be done once you top stitch that gap closed. Now for the skirt hikes, this is going to be a very simple thing to do. So you're just going to take a strip, fold it in half, sew it, turn it right sides out. And then what I did is I closed both of the ends so I didn't have to worry about exposed edges because this material is really thick. So I didn't want to fold it over too many times, otherwise the needle literally won't go through. So once I have the ends closed up, I'm just going to sew two structured lines down, down each side just so it sits a little bit more flat. And then I'm going to fold each of the sides in. So one's going to be folded way more than the other because one needs to fit the belt, whereas the other just needs to fit the D-rings. So you're going to need two D-rings in the one fold because that's how you're going to hike up your skirt. I'll show you how you do that later. Um, so basically that's what you do is you just fold one side down, sew it, and then put your D-rings in the other side and then fold it and sew it. And you make two of those and those are my skirt hikes. So I'll see you after that. Now for the last thing is the tiny little pouch that I'm going to be making. So basically what you do is you cut out two outer fabric rectangles and two lining rectangles of the size that you want this pouch to be. And then on the outer fabric, before you sew anything together, you're going to put two lines and that's going to be where your drawstring is going to be. So then once you place them right sides together, you're going to sew all the way around, but skip those two little lines. So you'll like sew, skip, and then sew skip and then sew and then you're going to place the lining fabrics right sides together but you are going to leave a gap about this big so that you can turn everything out once you sew everything together so once those are all sewed you're going to take your lining you're going to take your lining and then turn it right sides out and then put that into the inside out outer fabric and then you're going to sew all the way around the top then you can pull out the lining and then through that little gap that you made you can pull all of it out and then put the lining back into the top and I also forgot when I was sewing the outer fabric and the lining together at the top, I did sandwich in the little loop, which is the same style of loop that I did for the um, tea holster. And that just gets sandwiched in so that when I turn everything right sides out, I have a little loop. And then the last thing to do is to sew the channels that we marked out for the drawstring. So you're just going to sew two about maybe an inch apart or less. And then you're going to feed your string through all the way around on one side and then go to the other side and string your string through all the way around and tie those off and you got a little drawstring bag. So with that, um, we're all ready for the final look. I ended up cutting out 7 by 10 rectangles for each of these pieces. So before you start sewing the outer fabric together, again, you're just going to draw out those uh, drawstring lines. And then when you're going to sew, you're going to sew at the top, skip that little gap, and then sew all the way around, then skip, and then sew the rest of the top.
And then for the lining, you're going to put the two pieces right sides together and then leave a little gap so that you can turn everything right sides out once you finish. Now we're going to turn the lining piece right sides out and then put it into the inside out outer fabric piece. Then you're going to sew all the way around the top. Once that's sewn, then you're just going to take out that lining piece and then turn everything right sides out and don't forget to close up that little gap. And then the last thing that you're going to do is you're going to sew the drawstring channel. And then once you feed the string through on both sides, then your drawstring bag is done. I am so happy with how all of this turned out. By the way, if you do want to see the construction of this corset, I do have a video on it that I did a while ago. It's my like reversible corset that I did in like Regency style, I think it's called. Um, and I love it so much. So I think this fit all together is just like another gray Renaissance look. And I know I say this like all the time, but I think this is gonna be my next Renaissance look. <laughs> I was thinking about doing like my mushroom for the next renaissance but I'm a little worried about the hat and it like being in the way and being uncomfortable so I think this is a great um generic ren fair you know look with a skirt shift corset but with the addition of my little tea holster and my skirt hikes which I've been wanting to make for like so long and my little pouch that I could put my little phone in <laughs> I think this is such a good look that I would love to wear there. So who knows, maybe I'll go a couple times and maybe I'll wear a couple different outfits I did last year. So um, we're gonna see what happens, but this will probably be my first look because first off, it's super comfortable. Second off, it's super cute. <laughs> and I just wanna show off my little tea holster. And I think, although it looks like it's in a precarious situation, I think this is pretty secure, especially with the loop going through the handle of the teacup. As long as I don't like bang it on anything, it should not break, hopefully. <laughs> and then I have like the option of skirt hikes here. I only did up the one because the it would be in the way of my holster. So that's why I only did the one there. And then for the little pouch in the back, I'm just gonna leave it in the back so that my arm can sit comfortably at my side um, without hitting the bag. But yeah, um, this material was an absolute freaking nightmare <laughs> to freaking work with um because it was so thick and it, since it's like a tapestry kind of fabric um all the strings like come loose if you don't like immediately sew them so this was quite the material to use i would have had a much easier job i think using a thinner material but this one was so cute and i couldn't give up on it and i needed to use it already so and i'd already cut out the pieces so i'm i'm glad that i did use them because they are super cute would i do it again not with this fabric 
So yeah, let me know if you liked what I did. Um, I just love Ren Faire looks. It's my favorite thing to do ever um, alongside vintage, but Ren Faire is like all the way at the top. Um, they're just like the best looks to put together. <laughs> so let me know if you like this. Um, let me know what you want to see more of. So in here to do, if you like what I did, go and like and subscribe. I post most Saturdays mostly anew, and I will see you in my next video. Thank you for watching.